Devdas. Devdas has a unique distinction. He was the founder editor of Focus, which lasted for many years. Most of you know this. Yeah. Yes, sure. uh, incidentally, Ellis Ganesh was also part of our team. Okay. Uh, he was doing his MTech when we were. I joined my, for my doctoral program. Okay, right. go no. ahead. Yeah. So, what was the crucial question for yeah. me? Crucial moments where you tested, as a person, you were tested no. uh, when you were a student here. I think uh. I would share with uh, Shankar that. The crucial moment was at point of graduation. Uh, I really didn't know which way to go. Uh, I knew which way I, I didn't want to go, so I didn't want to go abroad, that was for sure. Uh, for a simple reason that, you know, I, I had a rebellious spirit in me and everybody around me was applying abroad and I, I just didn't want to do what everybody did. We had started reflections and I think the question began in that year. I was really concerned about what's the real purpose of my life. So it's, it, it started there, of course, it started during reflections. When I finished schooling, I I'd had my schooling in Calcutta. Uh, I had a similar problem. You know? I was very fond of literature, and my first love was uh, to study literature. But I also liked science and. Uh, like all the others, I applied to the IIT and uh, somehow I got into IIT. And I did pursue my love for literature later. I did a course in MA in English Literature much later. But at this point in my life, I, I really didn't know which way to do go, but I wanted to do something authentic. And I think that's been my perennial search in life. I found that the normal way is an inauthentic way. and. Uh, and later on, actually, I, I spent some time in the Himalayas in search of authenticity. So I think it all started in my final year in IIT. Thank you. Thanks. Lele, now? No, still pass. Okay, fine. That's very interesting. Huh? If you look at the variety of responses, a pass. And uh, I, I like Rajat very much, you know, typical IITian, thinking on the feet while speaking, you know, <laughs> and saying, okay, this is what it was. But very good. Balsumanyam, fairness, getting into ethics and that kind of dimension. Shankar, uh, the, the existential question as a student. And uh, Devdas coming further to his faculty life and asking the, the ultimate existential question, what's my purpose in life? Okay. Uh, let's get back. We, 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 quick, we identify that human beings have a certain context in their life. Me alone, me at work, me at home, me with uh, other people, friends or otherwise, on, uh, either at work or at home, and me in public. Take these contexts in life. What, what do you think IIT has taught you in these contexts? Handling yourself alone, uh, either in matters of will and discipline and order and perhaps uh, work and so on. And similarly, with respect to relationships at work or with, with, with colleagues or, or friends or relatives and so on. What do you think is uh, something enduring that you feel IIT has nurtured in you? May not be formally through the education system, but as a part of your life as a student in IIT. I, I think uh, when you first come to IIT, you're part of uh, 250, 300 students, each one of whom is uh, very close to the top of their classes. So there is it's certainly a humbling experience coming in. Uh, I think one of the things I was discovering that uh, you have Sorry to, to intervene. Did it help restrain you as a person? Restraint is a great value for a human being. Did you feel that within a few, couple of weeks or a few months, you restrained yourself from opening up too much? Uh, no, in fact, I probably went the other way. Okay. That, that Good. Great. That, uh, <laughs> Uh, it was actually a very, uh, uh, it, it, so socially it was not at all awkward, but I was uh, quite uh, delighted to sort of discover some other parts of myself and that there were, uh, that each of us has different kinds of capacities. I quickly figured computer science, which was my branch, was not my specific area of expertise, but, uh, but, but what it does do is uh, it, uh, uh, it, it does sort of make you aware that you uh, not only have uh, capacities for different things, but that you also have a choice. And uh, the, the sense of choice coupled with, uh, with some ability to reason uh, makes us, uh, makes us uh, agents in the sense of not just moral agents, but you know, uh, certainly moral agents. 
and that uh, we can actually choose to do different things, that you don't necessarily just have to go with the flow. Uh, so while there were about 300 of us, it's, uh, I now see that each one of us has done something uh, fairly unique, something fairly different. And I think th this place did sort of nurture that, uh, that even though you know, we are all the cream of the cream and so on, that each one of us is different and that you do have a capacity for developing something unique. Uh, and you have those choices, that we can exercise those choices uh, or you could choose to sort of you know, uh, 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 not exercise those choices. Uh, but knowing that you have a choice and therefore some responsibility that comes along with it. Would you say you became more structured as, uh, as you grew into your final year compared to when you entered? <laughs> I can, I can keep this no, I, I'm just inferring from what you said. I'm uh, just making a fair inference, yeah. Uh, no. Uh, or were you more random, like you said? I, I, I think, uh, no, I became definitely more unstructured. When you, when you come in, there's, you know, three subjects or four subjects that physics, chemistry, math, that, you know, you're sort of, that, that's pretty much what you're thinking about. Uh, I think discovering other subjects sort of leads to some, possibly even some cognitive dissonance. So I wouldn't say I became more structured, mm -hmm. but uh, discovering things can be uh, not necessarily unsettling. It can yeah, be it can it. be exciting. Like serendipity. No, sure. I, I wouldn't say I became more structured over the years. Mm -hmm. uh, at least the, the four years at IIT, it was probably too early to to start getting structured. Yeah, so I, I think my challenge was, um, you know, until we got to IIT, it was very as he would say, structured. I mean, we knew exactly what we were doing, what classes to take, who was studying. We studied together. We knew how to succeed and, you know, got in. Uh, then you have challenges like Anthony Reddy, separate story. We have to deal with it. But... Uh, did Professor Swaminathan teach you? While yes, you were yes, okay. yes. Sure. Um, okay. he, he, was, he, he was interesting as well. Um, but, but the point I wanted to make was that there's a transition that happens. And I think that's part of growing up, right? Which is you not only have these challenges, but then you realize that there are other interesting things that you would want to do, whether it's, you know, Mardi Gras or campus times or, you know, dramatics or whatever it is. You, 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 you figure out a bunch of different things that you're interested in. And in fact, I feel like I drifted away from technology once I got here. I mean, not, not in any tangible way. I was still doing technology and still went through the motions and, you know, applied and got to, you know, to do my, uh, you know, graduate work, etc. And I'm still in the technology field, right? So, but I feel like I lost that punch, if you will, after I got here. And, uh, but that make, made me feel like I was also learning new things and, and you know, interested in other things as well. So I think you grow as a person, you go th grow through those challenges, but then eventually you have to find your way, whatever that way is. And sometimes, you know, for some of us, we're still finding that way. Uh, I don't, I don't, a lot of people ask me, you know, why did you go from research to product management? It's very unconventional. And I think the answer is I don't know. I, I guess it's about you know what uh, Professor uh, you know Deva said is that you're still trying to find what it is that you really want to do, right? So I think that's a big challenge, and that's part of growing up. And I think some people just never grow up, right? Great. Actually, it's wonderful not to grow up, isn't it? <laughs> okay, Balsubrahmanya. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I will describe my first year, uh, my year as. I was socially awkward, intellectually shy, and as a persona, uh, very self um, unassured. Uh, I was in awe of all my batchmates who had, at least half of them had scored much better JEE ranks than me. Many of them came from uh, English medium schools, and uh, they could communicate very well. And I simply worshipped some of the seniors who are great debaters, quiz masters, champions, and all that. Uh, amidst all of them, I felt very insecure and very unsure of myself. And that is how I started my first year here. Uh, slowly, it took over the next five years, there was a slow but steady transformation happening. Because once I figured out what I can do, how I can compete, uh, there was a transformation in me. I realized that I'm not a sprinter. I cannot get off the block quick and run a 100 meters dash. But I realized in the process that I'm a long distance runner. I can run at a slow pace, steady pace, and compete with anyone in that process. 
So this was a great realization for me by the end of five years. And in the process, I think I became quite self-assured and confident. I was comfortable to be in my own skin. May and I add that you could endure? Endurance? Yes, certainly. Okay. That essentially has described to me, helped me learn who I am and be comfortable with myself. This is the great, one of the greatest contributions I've had from my IIT life. That's very interesting. A good, uh, probably you dissected yourself and uh, analyzed yourself and grew in confidence in terms of how you understood yourself. Well, I, I, I don't know. It was the analysis was a conscious process okay. or it just happened. Okay. But along the way, it happened. Great. Shank, Shankar. I was trying to think of uh, some way to describe my first year uh, at IIT, having come out of uh, a fairly structured home and so on. So I thought of this. You see, I, um, a year or two ago, some trip to London somewhere on one of those tourist trips, I went down a coal mine. And uh, it was a very old coal mine. It had been around since the 1800s or whatever. And they told me about some of the history. Apparently, the you know now they have electric carriages carrying the coal up from the mines all the way up. In those days, they used to have horses. And the horses were actually spent their lifetime under underneath. They never actually came out. They were born there, they dragged coal, and then they died there. That was it. And their dead bodies were brought up and buried somewhere. At some point, they figured that that was not conducive for the horse. So they said, once a year, for one week, we'll take this horse out, uh, leave it out on the in, the in the open air in the sunlight, and then you know muzzle it and take it back in to continue its drudgery. And they said, when that horse, which had never seen sunlight in its life, was brought out into the greenery and sunlight. He said, it just went mad. They could not contain the horse. It was so, it was, you know, so I was that person. I was that horse in first year. From, uh, you know, from having uh, rocket fights from the roof of Alaknanda to, to Jamuna to, to uh, Jamuna. Uh, Jamuna, sorry, Jamuna, uh, to biking overnight to Mahabalipuram. And then the ECR in those road, those days was not even a, a road, you know, after Tiruvan Mayur, it was just desert all the way. So you take a bike trip of 60 kilometers overnight, come back, uh, carrying you. Uh, somebody carried me, I suppose. I don't know if I made it back. You know, the sort of crazy things that we did was really a reflection, was, was, was you know, you, you escape from a certain straight jacketed situation, make the most of it. But if I look back, 25 years, 30 years hence. And you know, I have the more recent example of my son who has graduated a couple of years ago from IITM also. And I look at all my peers who are uh, around me, whom I have occasion to observe, in relation to such of my colleagues and peers who are not from IIT or not from a, a structured, uh, not from an engineering background like this. I do see that uh, the ability to think in a structured manner to say A follows B, then that follows C, then that follows D, and therefore there is a certain outcome that will happen, uh, whether it is in, in, in finance or whether it's in technology or whether it's in, it doesn't matter what the sphere is, just the ability to think in a structured manner is I attribute it solely and totally to the upbringing that I, that I got here. Uh, also, the sense that you can do more, you see, I was always the top guy in school and you know that's not saying much, but when I came here, from my professors, the first, it was the very first time in my life I had heard, I expected more of you. And when somebody, when a professor that I respected said, I expected more of you, that was like, God, such a thing has happened to me. And that was like a kick in the backside and really helped you to uh, shape up. So there were a lot of, uh, I suppose, significant events, if you can call it that, that happened here, which I will, uh, which have shaped me and which, I, which, which will be with me till I die.